So yeah, I want to make this video because I saw in the comments that people were complaining about the quality of the Zoom E3XN um, high gain sounds. Either that or that they just didn't know how to make this unit sound good. And I know that this is not an XFX or a Kemper or anything like that. It's just a $150 unit. But I, I, I know that you can get a pretty decent sound out of it. I'm not saying do you are going to buy this and start playing a, you know, massive gig. But for uh, home recording, demos, and just recording in general, I think it's a good unit. So what I want to do is like start doing patches, 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 peaches, peaches, patches from zero, from the ground up, so that you can see that it's fairly easy to make a patch. And in the case, maybe if you want to, like I, I also saw a lot of per, uh, people like putting in the comments of the video that I'm, I once made out of this unit. I saw comments that people were basically trying to decide if they wanted to buy that or any other on, on the same price range. So maybe this video can help you if you are trying to buy a decent unit that it's going to deliver good, decent, high gain sound. So here we go. So the, what you're seeing on screen right now, it's the application that allows you to manipulate digitally the interface uh, via USB. So what I'm gonna do right now is start from some empty patch here, 84, yep. And what I like to start with my blueprint is like um, maybe overdrive amplifier, um, EQ, and the cabinet. I'm just gonna choose um, for the overdrive is the TS, this is an emulation from a tube screamer. Let's just let it off, then we will tweak it as necessarily. Um, amplifier, I'm gonna start with a rectifier type of sound, which is obviously the Recti-Org. Let's leave this empty so then we can decide what, whatever I want to put there. And obviously then the cabinet. I already know what cabinet works for me, what I like the most because I try them uh, one by one. And the one that I like the most is this emulation from a Fender I forgot the name, but I will put it here um, on the video once I start editing and everything. It's the FDMA 2x12, it's the one that I like the most. It doesn't sound completely bad, but there's a lot of things that we can tweak to make that or this sound better. And the thing that annoys me the most, I think, is the massive amount of uh, low, low end that I don't like that much because it muffles the sound. I really don't like it. So I'm going to start with the amp, amp first. I'm going to leave the cabinet just the way it is. Then I will tweak that. I think there's too much, too, too much bass. I'm going to move that to... 30 perhaps. just take a little bit of gain out out of the equation because then I'm going I'm going to add the um, tube screamer and everything is gonna go just crazy <laughs> sounds a little bit weak but then with the overdrive it's gonna sound different now let's go with the cabinet um, well mic is gonna stay on then with the blend of the microphones The low is put like 40%. 
45 or something. Yeah. Okay, let me add the tube screamer. Overdrive. Take away the whole game. Might take a little bit of that high that I put on, on the cabinet. I like it. I like it this way. Let's try the modern mode. Oh, staying with the vintage. Okay, I like the way it sounds. So what I want to do right now is want to compress a little bit the signal coming out of the amplifier. Let's try with the rack. Let's see. Ratio 6, 6 to 1. Well, way too much. Let's see how it sounds. Yes. Oh, it's being completely drowned. Now let's go like a little bit. I don't want too much. Maybe 2 to 1. Okay, for me this is cool. I'm gonna put the uh, tag a little bit more aggressive. Without the compressor. With the compressor. I like it this way. Okay, so, so far we have overdrive, amplifier, um, compressor, and cabinet. Let's be a little picky and let's add like an EQ. Let's roll off like uh, 100 hertz to see what we end up with. Just, take just a little bit, maybe 2 dBs. Okay, um, let's like in 1K add maybe 2 dBs. See how it sounds without the EQ. What more of low end? No. The mids and the highs are a bit more present. What I think I'm gonna do also is add a little bit more of gain in the amplifier. Let's go to like 55. Too much of high end there. Uh, 65. Let's roll it back to 60 and I'll die a happy combo. Yeah, I'm happy with how it sounds. I know that obviously I'm going to tweak anything if I use this uh, the same patch to record. I'm going to tweak something on the DAW because it's more precise and there are things that um, are easier there. And I made this video especially for those of you who want to like, um, who are thinking of buying this unit, if you want to practice with it or if you just want to have it there as a backup unit. So I hope that this helps you decide either to choose this unit or to go with another unit that you like better. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Another thing, um, on Sundays I'm also doing the death metal lit section, which is basically grabbing a non-metal song and doing a death metal cover and it's a lot of fun i really like doing that it's also very hard so stay tuned for this sunday it's going to be a new song um last sunday was a country song by david allen co that's a song that i love which is mississippi woman so if you haven't seen the video click here and watch that thing anyways thank you so much once again for watching this um like and subscribe if you haven't have a great weekend enjoy with friends and good beers and good music headbang like a maniac and break your neck <laughs>